it, this kind of goes back to something that I was talking about earlier. I think consultants make bad investors. I think they focus too much on how to get things done and not enough on what, how much something is worth. And fundamentally, investing is about price. It's not about like strategies. Interesting. So I'll actually share with you a couple of materials on the back end that we were putting together. You'd be surprised. Some of our best placements have been MVB consultants. Look, I'm not surprised. And I think that especially at like private equity firms that take a much more operational role, right? Like that, like that probably makes sense. In, in venture, what I like, what I focus on is like, what is this worth today? What could this be worth down the uh, down the line? And like, how do I like kind of like thread the needle to get a deal done here? Um, and so, like, I think that when you're at like a big buyout shop. And uh, your job is much more like, okay, how do we get this thing to possible on day zero? Like, who do we need to cut? Like, what functions are we going to fund? All that type of stuff. I think having a consulting background makes a lot more sense. Again, like, I think my, my core criticism here is that, like, investing is about price. It's not about process. I love it. And just because I want to make sure that we can answer some of these questions within time. Recommended reading for someone who's looking at some of your favorite books. Yeah, I would say zero to one. I would say called like good to best or something like that. Never split the difference. It's a book about negotiating, actually. Those my favorite books. I would say that there's some podcasts and some blogs also that, that, that are good to follow. Cool. Any favorite one? My favorite podcast. Oh, oh it's the best of the best podcast. I really like that one. And now you're going to have your own episode, of course, on the Office Hours one after this. Excited for that. Love it. Let's think through, of course, like how do you prevent burnout through all the positions with all the roles, staying in finance for so long, going to the operating side? I remember when you met on the operating side, you were like, not like this is pretty chill, but like, you know, it also wasn't like not, not chill. So, like, um, look, I think the first couple of years, like preventing burnout is going to be very difficult, right? Especially if you go to uh, the banking route. And I think you need to kind of like acknowledge that. One of the things I would strongly recommend you do in your career, I've always done this little trick. When you are leaving one position, just create vacations for yourselves between jobs. And like, but when you leave a job, tell your boss that your new boss needs you to start immediately. Tell your new boss to stay for at least two to three more weeks and go on vacation. 